Hi guys. Welcome to my channel. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel. Top 10 travel destinations in Australia. So make sure to watch the full video. Dreams are made in Australia. Australia is deserving of all the hype, according to armchair travelers as well as ancient Aboriginal dream time. Traditions in which the great spirits are said to have conjured the coral reefs, rainforests, and red deserts. Australia, the smallest continent in the world and the biggest island is about the same area as the United States. Yet it has a population the size of New York State and some of the most bizarre animals on the planet. Very striking contrasts and breathtaking beauty may also be found in Australia. The Great Barrier Reef, one of the world's most amazing natural wonders, may be found along the coast, along with thriving cities. Enormous sand islands, ancient rainforests, and other fascinating sites. The ultimate in adventure travel may be found in Australia's outback, where rough national parks and red-eared deserts await. One The Great Barrier Reef Marine Park is located in Queensland. The Great Barrier Reef seeing is a must before leaving Australia. One of the biggest living things on the globe, this natural marvel is classified as a World Heritage Site. You can see it from space because of how big it is. It's a must-see site for snorkelers, divers, island enthusiasts, and wildlife lovers. With the purpose of preserving its delicate ecosystems, the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park was created in 1975. More than 3,000 coral reefs are among them, along with 600 continental islands, including the stunning Whitsunday Group, 300 coral keys, and nearby mangrove islands. On Australia's east coast, in the state of Queensland, is one of the world's seven natural wonders. The park's length is 2,300 kilometers or roughly the distance between Mexico and Vancouver. To the Uluru Kata Judah National Park in the Northern Territory. One of Australia's most popular tourist destinations is Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock, which is located deep within the Red Center region. A World Heritage Site jointly managed by Parks Australia and the traditional landowners, the Angu people. Uluru Kata Judah National Park is centered on the eye-catching red monolith. Uluru rises 348 meters above the surrounding plain. Its name, means shadowy place in the local Aboriginal dialect. Subterranean layers conceal the majority of its bulk. The park also contains red rocks known as Kadat Judah, which resemble a dome, the Olgas. 3. The Sydney Harbour Bridge in New South Wales One of Australia's top architectural landmarks, along with the Opera House, is the Sydney Harbour Bridge. This magnificent engineering achievement, affectionately known as the Coat Hanger, is the largest steel arch bridge in the entire world. Before the Sydney Opera House, it was finished in 1932. A guided climb to the bridge's summit, where you can take in breathtaking views of the harbour and city, is among the best things to do in Sydney. The bridge, which links Sydney's North Shore to the Financial District, extends 500 metres and rises 134 metres above the harbour. For the Blue Mountains National Park in New South Wales. A popular day trip from Sydney, the stunning Blue Mountains National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a hiker's paradise. The distance from the city is a short 81 kilometers. This stunning park safeguards more than 664,000 acres of wilderness and was given its name after the blue haze that the numerous eucalyptus trees produced. This area offers 140 kilometers of hiking trails, as well as 140 kilometers of gorges, waterfalls, and Aboriginal rock art. Popular activities in the park include horseback riding, mountain biking, hiking, abseiling, and rock climbing. 5. Victorian Culture of Melbourne Particularly for culture vultures, Melbourne, the second largest city in Australia, is a well-liked stop on many Australian itineraries. The main draws of this sophisticated city on the Yarra River include its theatres, restaurants, shops, galleries, and distinct European vibe. With parks, gardens, and other open areas taking up almost a third of its total area, the city is also very green. Melbourne has numerous cultural highlights. Marvel at the works of art at the National Gallery of Victoria, attend a performance at the Art Centre Melbourne or visit Federation Square. In this location, you can peruse Australian artwork at the Ian Potter Gallery and discover the country's screen culture at the Australian. You want to return to nature, don't you? Visit the Royal Botanic Gardens and take the Aboriginal Heritage Walk. Catch a game at the Melbourne Cricket Ground if you place a priority on sports culture. A popular winter sport is Australian rules football while cricket is popular in the summer. 6. New South Wales Bondi Beach 
Thrown together, one of the most well-known beaches in the world features tan bodies, blonde sand, backpackers, and surf. Bondi Beach is a great place to experience Sydney's beach culture because it is only 15 minutes by car from the city center. On a scorching summer day, bask in the sunshine on the golden sands, surf the waves, or cool off in the water, but stay between the flags. There aren't many cities in the world that can boast of having such a tempting stretch of sea and sand so close by. It is understandable why it is one of Sydney's top beaches. A little history can also be found here. One of the first surf life-saving organizations ever established is located in Bondi. There's a wild side to Bondi, too. For Christmas and New Year celebrations, large crowds of locals and visitors congregate here. Travelers love visiting this location. 7. Daintree National Park in Queensland Daintree National Park in far north Queensland, a wet tropics world heritage area, is home to one of the planet's oldest ecosystems. The eastern Kuku Yalanji Aboriginal people are the land's owners, and many of the area's natural features have profound spiritual meaning. Two main areas make up the park, Cape Tribulation, one of Australia's most picturesque destinations, and Mossman Gorge, where crystal clear waters cascade over granite boulders. Along the white sand coral sea beaches, the rainforest and reef meet here. This breathtaking stretch of coastline is one of the few locations on Earth where two of the planet's richest ecosystems meet. More than 18,000 plant and animal species, including the crocodile, giant blue Ulysses butterfly, and the elusive Bennett's tree kangaroo, make up the park's astounding biodiversity. 8. Queensland, Hkari, Fraser Island A unique place to visit in Australia is the World Heritage-listed Kari, Fraser Island. The largest sand island in the world can be found off the east coast of Australia, halfway between Bondaberg and Brisbane. Along with seemingly endless stretches of sand and water, this region is home to fascinating wildlife, emerald rainforests, rippling dunes, and turquoise lakes. Want to feel the rush of adrenaline? One of the best outdoor activities in Australia is a 4WD trip along its surf-lashed shores. Rusted shipwrecks. Colored sandstone cliffs known as the cathedrals. And bubbling fish-filled rock pools known as champagne pools can all be found along windswept 75-mile beach. 9. The Sydney Opera House, located in New South Wales. When people hear Sydney, Australia, they typically see the Opera House. This iconic structure on Sydney's Benlong Point is one of the greatest examples of global architecture. With shapes resembling enormous shells or billowing sails, it is included on the UNESCO World Heritage List. That is a beautiful place. Three of the building sides are surrounded by water, and the southern boundary is the Royal Botanic Gardens. The project's design was chosen as the winner of an international competition by Danish architect J.R.N. Jutsen. But he pulled out due to funding and technical issues. In 1973, after having cost 10 times more than expected, construction was eventually finished. Jutsen had already departed the nation by this point and would never again witness his marvelous work. Nowadays, you may attend a concert, eat at one of the establishments, or take a tour to experience the Sydney Opera House's top attractions. A music hall, studios, exhibition spaces, a movie theater, and other spaces are all included in the building. Ken the Kakadu National Park in the Northern Territory Kakadu National Park is an excellent example of Australia's best wilderness areas. It is the second largest national park in the world, stretching over more than 19,840 square kilometers in the Northern Territory. Its boundaries contain monsoon rainforests, mangrove swamps, rivers, gorges, prehistoric rock art, wetlands, and waterfalls. A remarkable diversity of wildlife can be found in Kakadu, along with the numerous fish, reptiles, and mammals. This area is also home to over 300 different species of birds and saltwater and freshwater crocodiles, which lurk in the wetlands. So, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. Use the comment section below to tell us what you think about the video. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of all the latest videos.